I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Bruce effing Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight. That UFC championship belt. Undisputed baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion. And man, does he have all the confidence and the self-belief that comes with that distinction. Yeah, when you're the baddest man on the planet, you are confident. You have to be a bit arrogant, a bit cocky. And that's what this guy has. He has been here on so many different occasions. This is like another night in the office, but you can never tell by the way that he prepared. When you watch him prepare, he treats every one of these defenses as if it's the first time he's fighting for a UFC championship. No, you put that well. He has had that patented intensity about him this week, trying to occupy some headspace in the challenger. Huge heavyweight title fight is upon us. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, here we go. Another big night for the MMA leader from Las Vegas, Nevada's T-Mobile Arena. Been a lot of seminal moments in this building. I can think of one. It was a big one for me at UFC 226. But Josh, also UFC 200. I got to stand across the cage from Anderson Silva in that arena. This is a place where big fights happen. And tonight, you get to stand amongst the legends at the T-Mobile Arena. Oh, good kicks now. That kick blocked by Lee. Man, his side kick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good side kick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. And he lands the hook. And follows up with another one. Good job defensively to block that punch. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, and he killed him there with a beautiful straight right hand. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, how good is that kick? Now touches him with the left. Circling to his right. Oh, the kick. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the belt. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all the strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, 
he seems lost to it. Two minutes. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just missed. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Leg kick is true. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Come on, let's go. Let's work. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, lands a beautiful switch kick there, champ. I mean, just like Edson Barbosa, he switches stance and drives that kick up onto the elbow. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice jab. Final seconds here of round one. Round right. two is next. Hey, stop. All right, let us get you some replays now from that previous round, DC, and certainly you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing them with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. You ready to fight? You ready? Get Second round underway. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. you got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's put on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, looks like he's got a cut above the eye here. Let me show you the head strikes. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Straight right hand, no good. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. Oh, another ground strike gets through. his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Just over three minutes now to go. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Oh, there's that switch kick. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it to him. Unable to land with that punch. 
Archer right, so continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington. Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Try to establish that jab. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Lee. Gets to the single collar tie. Just over two minutes here to go in round two. Oh, beautiful job getting the foot to the head there. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying. But we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within himself, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Circling to his right. Well, we talk about these calf kicks all the time. Don't want to take too many more of those. I cannot believe how damaging that strike has become. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. 45 seconds remain in the round. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Look at the turnover in that kick. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. 20 seconds to go round two. Separate. There it is again. Look at it. Big right hand there. Feels like the beginning of the end. Oh, huge spinning kick. Oh, God. What a round. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eyes sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Just misses with the straight left hand. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Lands to the body there. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one might be the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. You gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Oh! Oh no! Oh, outstanding placement as he lands 
the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Looks like someone took a red sharpie too. Oh, he's still he can't even stand. Oh, nice kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Three minutes to go in round three. strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. We pass the midpoint here in the fight. In the half guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Straight right is there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. for that left hand, not there. Hands high, hands high. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, a huge block there. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. No good. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, a good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Leading now. Nasty cut on his nose. Nice crack there. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Final seconds here. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so we go. Oh! Back to his feet. Nice punch to the head. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Oh, leg kick. Stats in that department starting to pile up. 
All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him. the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...